Hello. I got a little project today, and uh, let me show it to you. Got one of these. If you don't know what it is, it's the brush out of the front of the vacuum. And uh, this thing sounded like a cement mixer the past uh, few weeks. And uh, I pulled the rod out of it. And uh, the bearing in the end of it was froze up. It wouldn't even turn. Yeah, show you the, the, the junk that come out of it. And all this stuff on this board here is uh, dried up grease. I mean, I, I couldn't even turn on that. That's the uh, seal off the end. I've got to uh, put it back in there. What I'm going to do is uh, I've got this freed up. And it turns now. Before I uh, I could just barely uh, jiggle it, and it feels kind of rough. But what I'm going to do, uh, first of all, to get it to free up, I used some of this stuff and just sprayed in there some some lock stuff and the solvents in that. Uh, uh, broke broke it up and I got it freed up and I uh, took some brake cleaner and I rinsed it out. Now that it's dry, it's uh, kind of rough. But uh, get a little lubricant in there, it, it, it'll be all right. Otherwise, I just got to order another brush roll for this, which I don't really want to do because it's a a throwaway vacuum. And what I've got is uh, I'm going to try this uh, high dollar grease I have. And see if it won't uh, uh, take take the heat for a while. And uh, well, let, let, let's just get to it. Let's just push a little grease in this, and then let's see what happens. Brand new tube. This is a, a kind of a thick, pasty grease. And it's just like doing a wheel bearing. You just uh, push it down in the rollers. Uh, an old timey mechanic showed me how to how to take the seal out of these and when I was doing uh, alternators. And this is a little bit smaller than that. I've, I've actually done this with a, like a clutch pilot on, on a little import car when I didn't have a bearing that, that, that was bad and I was able to use it for quite some time. You don't need need to put a, a whole lot in here. Push it down in here, and then uh, it, it'll work its way down. And you put too much in there, it's going to leak out of there. And that, that's why I went ahead and took the brake cleaner and, and cleaned all the the gunk out of there, so there would be a, enough room for the, for some grease. I'm, I'm just kind of kind of uh, pushing it around, going around in a circle. I know you can't see. I'm going to uh, put the rod back in here and uh, spin it a little. You can still hear it. But it's, 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 it's turning pretty free now. I had some cheaper grease that would probably do, do just fine in here. I, I just want to mess with this uh, grease because I got a tube of it laying around. It's been on the shelf for several years. It, it's just uh, it's kind kind of pricey for for what it is. There uh, other greases are are uh, uh, less expensive. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking around four bucks a tube difference between the uh, general purpose and, and this stuff. I just had some, I, was, uh, I think I put it in my front wheel bearings when I had the axles out. I just put just a little bit in there. And uh, I never had one fail, so, so that's a good thing. 
when I ordered this stuff, they said it was a, a suitable for use in constant velocity joints, but I've never tried it for that. I just use a, whatever grease com comes in them joints. Can't go wrong that way. And uh, since then, they've re uh, uh, released some uh, other greases for uh, like heavy equipment. And I've never tried them because I'm, I'm not in that business anymore. Well, this is a uh, bearing's feeling good now. You can't can't already hear it. You can't already feel it. Feel smooth. So maybe I'm doing some good here. Maybe I'm not. Who cares? I'm doing something. At least tried. I, I got some flack from some other guys one time because because I wasn't trying to do something because it was counterproductive. Yeah, well, whatever. Well, all I gotta do now is, is is just put that seal back on here and put this together, and uh, it should be good to go. I'm I'm not having any any uh, uh, rough feeling. I'm I'm able to turn it with my greasy gloves. So this is this how to fix this vacuum cleaner. I'm not gonna show you how to put it together because it might take me a little while. But that's what I have today. Thanks for watching. I haven't done a video in a while. See you later.